Hello everybody, today we are going to talk about uh, standing and parking of vehicle uh, inside of the build-up area and outside of the build-up area so in Estonia we have actually very different rules about that and uh, very strict rules I can say and um, that's why it's very important to know how exactly you have to do that on the exam for example if they ask you to stand somewhere or park somewhere and uh, of course we have to understand the difference between these two expressions and uh, definitions actually and um, uh, let's observe uh, this uh, more closer and um, here now we see standing and parking the difference between uh, parking and standing maybe you know uh, but of course I have to explain that now so parking means bringing a vehicle to um, an intentional hold for longer than is necessary for picking up or setting down passengers or for loading or unloading goods. It's parking. Standing means the bringing a vehicle to an intentional hold for, uh, intentional hold for being, picking up and setting down passengers or for loading or unloading goods. Stopping with the traffic flow or when requested by a traffic control device or an authorized official is not the need to be a standing. So what is the difference standing and parking? Uh, as you see standing uh, mostly connected with the um, unloading and loading goods, setting down and picking up the passengers. So basically uh, if you unloading goods permanently some time for example it can be even three hours right so if you are a truck driver or you have a small bus for example to unload some goods or passengers and if you are going to do that for three hours long it's still standing but if you are going to make some coffee break or smoking break i don't know so it doesn't matter for five even five minutes or ten minutes yeah during during these three hours uh between uh, this time period it will be parking so standing uh, means that you have to unload and load something for uh, for this period like three hours all the time every second you have to do something as soon as you are going to stop doing this then after that officially it means you park your car but you are not standing right uh, so, <clears throat> for example, yeah, if um, some C category truck is going to unload some goods in the market, for example, Remy or Prisma, right, um, going to unload it uh, eight hours. I mean, the driver, yeah, eight hours. If he is going to do that all the next eight hours without any brakes and stopping, means his car is standing, his truck is standing. But if he make a coffee break or something even for one minute after that officially it becomes parking and as you see yeah parking means bringing a vehicle to an intentional hold for longer than it's necessary for picking up or setting down the passengers or loading and unloading goods so i hope it's uh clear now of course if you if it's not then you can co put some comments on, uh, on below this video of course so um, let's talk about um, rules and how they work and how they can be applied in the, in the real traffic. So on the roads in a build-up area, a vehicle may stand or park A on a carriageway near to its right edge and B or in its right hand shoulder in such a way that at least a strip of uh, 70 centimeters will be available for the movement of pedestrians. So we have basically two points here. First point to its right edge. Yeah. For example, if we don't have shoulder in this case, so you have to be as close as possible to the edge of this road, right? To its right edge. Or if we have a shoulder, we can park uh, 
or stand on the shoulder but we have to leave at least 70 centimeters for moving uh, for pedestrians that they can move there right in the build-up area so of course if you see like shoulder better to tr to use shoulder then your car will be more uh, hidden out from the road and it will be not dis disturbing other driving uh, drive users and for, for example if you want to exit from your car it will be much easier for you than to do that if you are standing or parked on the shoulder on a carriageway a option a as i said as close as possible to the edge of the road we you see we don't have any shoulder here uh, it goes asphalt and then immediately goes um, grass so on the grass you cannot park never and you cannot use it for any maneuvers try to remember that so we park like this we use as maximum as maximum as we can uh, the asphalt and we maximally at the edge of the road it is correct here is the same on the left side of the road we parked as close as possible to the stone border right on the carriageway of course in this case we cannot use pedestrian crossing we also can park on this side doesn't matter as close as possible here you see we also parked on the asphalt at the edge of the road why because uh, on the shoulder we have only 50 centimeters for pedestrians but we as you remember have to leave uh, 0.7 70 centimeters means uh, if we park on the shoulder it will be even less than 50 right so in this case it's not allowed to park like this right well, I mean on the shoulder that's why we parked park on the edge of the road again B option so we have a shoulder we parked on the shoulder and here we you see we have a space in 70 centimeters so we parked correctly right hand shoulder here is the same we can be fully on the shoulder it's quite big here so we have here two meters here one meter so all the pedestrians can overtake the car very easily and they can move here so we do not disturb anybody in this case next rule in a build-up area if a vehicle uh, may stand or park in a similar way on the left hand side of a one-way road or on a such two-way road that has no tramway track in the middle and then one lane in both directions separated by a broken line yeah it's two rules and next one if no broken line exists then carriageway is less than nine meters wide without taking into account the wide of possible car parks constructed as an extension of the carriageway uh, the main thing here is nine meters so try to remember that we will talk about that uh, a little bit later but first we see uh, we can park on the left hand side of one way road a vehicle may stand or park in a similar way on the left hand side of a one way road so if we have a one way road we can park on the left side as well and on the right also you have to consider all the previous rules we just talked about the shoulder the, to leave some space for pedestrians so on and so on so as you see in the beginning a vehicle may stand or park in a similar way similar way means you have to consider the previous rule so yeah uh, I hope here it's clear one way road we can park on the left side don't forget we are talking about the build up area right now so it's a one-way road in Limma and as you see we park on the left side and it's allowed so if we don't have any restrictions I mean uh, prohibition signs for example no parking no standing in this case uh, it, we easily can park it on the left side 
or on a such a two-way road that has no tramway track in the middle and one lane in both directions separated by a broken line so what we have to see what i mean what do we have to check first tramways we don't have broken uh, broken line breakable line we have so means we don't break any rules in this case we also can make uh, we also can park on the left side uh, two, on the two-way road in this case so this is important to know even if it's two-way traffic please notice that two-way traffic not only one way the same two-way road here also in Nimme somewhere and we park on the left side on oncoming traffic basically and the last rule uh, like not rule but point in this rule rule is one the big one and it's one of the points in here if no broken line exists we don't have any lines you see on the picture the carriageway is less than nine meters wide without taking into account the uh, width of possible car parks constructed as an extension to the carriageway so we don't consider any parking slots um, like you see sometimes we have extensions like this yeah for parking we don't uh, we don't we don't take it into account yeah we take like a carriageway for moving the cars like not parking so if it's uh, nine meters or less we also can park uh, on the left side on the left side of the um, of the road yeah if we don't have any lines as well why uh, how do you think what is the logic of this rule it's very easy to answer because imagine you have a road with no lines and it's like 50 meters wide for example I believe somewhere exists uh, this kind of roads exist yeah for example 50 meters so imagine you go from the maximum right side to the left all these 50 meters crossing the oncoming traffic crossing the other lines other cars trying to park your car on the left side because you need to park it there of course it's not very safety in this case right so that's why this rule exists nine meters not more if it's more then please you turn your car somewhere and park uh, properly yeah so like in this direction so but in this case yeah if it's nine meters or less we can park and it's uh, very easy for example we have a picture here also real uh, real road again somewhere in Nimme and um, you see we parked on the left side this car was parked like properly like on the right side basically for him but we park on the left side for us if we look it from our side and um, the point of this rule that for example uh, you live here right for example you have a house or uh, apartment or something on this side so why you have to go for example to the end of this road make a u-turn and park like this car properly so it will take a lot of time it can cause traffic jams in this case you can it will be like more difficult for everybody if you do like this imagine all the drivers do like this at one time it will be like real chaos so that's why uh, we have this kind of rule how do you think this car parked correctly or not with the trailer let's say this road also 10 9 meters not not more than 9 meters so yeah the answer will be yes this car parked very correctly on the left side of the road this road is nine meters so he used left uh, left basically left side of the way of course he has to park it more closer like uh, you see trailer is looking out a little bit he's not as close as possible to the edge of the road but uh, he has to be but still the way of parking is correct yeah but uh, trailer is a little bit out of this uh, way by the way all the cars you see park correctly the as close as possible in this case and it's very proper parking here so uh, standing and parking uh, on the carriageway in a build-up area 
we'll also let's discuss some rules one more like more common rules let's say um, all the cars ha they have to park in one line yeah so if we park we can park in one line of course we cannot park here for example one more car yeah like your free cars for example then you block all the road right so that's why we have a rule please park in one line all the way of the road on all the way of the road two-wheeled motorcycles without a sidecar means uh, you you know sometimes motorcycles they have uh, trailers small trailers also cycles mopeds and mini mopeds may stand or park to abreast so means they have they can park uh, like this yeah one motorcycle second motorcycle because two motorcycles will be considered like one car right because they together they have four wheels parallel to the carriageway and no further than uh, 0.2 meters from the edge of the carriageway 20 centimeters so for example we have a stone border even if it's um, uh, like pedestrian crossing or uh, bicycle crossing uh, doesn't matter any sidewalks so we're not crossing but sidewalks yeah it's not pedestrian crossing and uh, in this case you have to be uh, as close as possible and maximum distance from your car to this um, stone border can be only 20 centimeters maximum yeah Please also uh, notice that there are no parking lines, of course. So means uh, if there is no parking lines, we have to follow this rule. If we have parking lines, then you have to be within the parking box. So it, your distance between uh, sidewalk and car can be a little bit more bigger in this case. So, and of course, parallel to the carriageway. So it has to be exactly parallel with the carriageway not like this not like this it has to be parallel sometimes examiner asks you to make standing and before you start your exercise uh, you have to follow the same rules you see for example before you start the u-turn exercise right in this case um you also before you start your exercise you also have to make your standing parallel with the road you cannot be like uh, curved or something right in a build-up area a power driven vehicle of less than uh, six uh, meters long belonging to a category e a category b without trailer and subcategory d1 without trailer so these kind of categories also may stand or park on the carriageway at a certain angle to its edge at a place where it's allowed by traffic control device or there is a layby. So it's important to, men uh, to mention here that without trailer, A it's motorcycle, B it's casual car like on the picture, D1 it's like passenger small bus like car buses maybe have you seen this kind of buses i hope so <clears throat> it's not the big ones that uh, move around in the city it's like small cargo bus let's say but for passengers and um, in this case they all have to be they all have to be without the trailer and they also can park on the carriageway on the angle like you see on the picture and only if it's uh, allowed by a traffic control device. For example, you have some additional um, expansion for parking or road markings or a sign, doesn't matter. In this way, you can park like this. In a car park next to the sidewalk in accordance with the procedures established by a traffic control device. Like you see here, for example, we have parking slots lines parking sign so we can uh, we also can park it here if we have one of these categories and we don't have a trailer and of course your car cannot be more than six meters sometimes you can see like small uh, like bigger B category cars or bigger D1 category uh, vehicles uh, in this case 
for example, like six and five meters, right? So in this case, they cannot use this parking slots then. So, uh, partly or completely on the sidewalk, it's, a, it's all allowed by a respective traffic control device, uh, leaving at least at 1.5 meter wide strip available for the movement of pedestrians on the uh, verge of the sidewalk further away from the carriageway. So you also can park on the roadside like this, on the sidewalk, but you have to leave at least 1.5 meters for the pedestrians. And of course, it has to be allowed, as you see, by respective traffic control device. So traffic control device, it can be road marking or traffic sign. These two things you have to follow them. On a safety island and dividing strip, it so allowed by respective traffic control device. So usually we cannot use a safe safety islands and dividing strips uh, for parking. Dividing strip, for example, like on Lagna Te in Last Amer, you know. So um, you can see that there is no parking slots, only if it's a gas station in the middle. In other cases, you cannot use a uh, dividing strip or even side like left or right side of the running strip to stand or park there you cannot and the same with the safety island it's allowed only if you have a respective traffic control device as i already said it can be road marking expansion for parking or road sign traffic sign a vehicle may stand on a sidewalk it's the next rule now a vehicle may stand on a sidewalk also for loading or unloading cargo, but not closer than 15 meters to a stopping point of public transport, like bus stop or tram stop, doesn't matter, uh, vehicles and leaving at least a 1.5 meter wide street for the uh, movement of pedestrians. So we can park on the sidewalk also, yeah, even if there is no traffic control devices, but only sorry we cannot park we can't stand yeah that's why we talked about this in the beginning it's very important to understand the difference between standing and parking right so um we can only stand here only for unloading and unloading goods yeah or passengers and distance between car and bar bus stop has to be 15 meters and you have to leave space at least 1.5 meters for pedestrians so uh, why this rule exists yeah generally because sometimes we have bus lanes yeah especially the last 10 years it's very pop become it becomes very popular to make bus uh, like uh, public transport more uh, like um like it's the main transport in the city right in Tallinn especially and um government wants to give uh, pr more priority to the public transport right so sometimes we have bus lanes yeah imagine you stand on the bus lane so a lot of buses and you are want you want to unload some sofa for example yeah quite a big thing and you are just standing unloading with some guys right persons um the sofa and like three buses or four buses waiting for for you until you unload that of course, maybe they can overtake that. But for example, for um, trolley buses, it's kind of difficult because they have electric lines on the top. So maybe it will be very disturbing for them. That's that's right. Uh, that's why road administration created the rule, uh, this rule, that if you want to unload some sofa or some other furniture, you can use sidewalk. Yeah, but at least you have to follow these two rules, like 15 meters from the bus stop, 1.5 meters, you have to live for the pedestrians. So hope this one is clear now. So standing and parking of vehicle outside a build up area on uh, rural, rural roads, a vehicle may stand or park on the right hand shoulder. Uh, we are now talking about parking and standing outside of the build-up area so uh, rural roads it's like um, uh, roads out of the build-up area so let's 
use this definition also now. So we can stand and park on the right hand shoulder. We don't have to leave space for pedestrians because as you understand on the highways there are not not big traffic volume of these pedestrians, right? So um, it's not very necessary to keep uh, to give them a space on the highway because it's not city so pedestrians don't move usually out of the city so we have to use shoulder as much as possible in this requirement cannot if this requirement uh, requirement cannot be complied with the uh, with a vehicle may stand or park on the road as much to the right as possible yeah so we still use as much as possible on the right of course we cannot use grass but still we are maximally on the right side a little bit on the left on the asphalt and a little bit on the shoulder so cars can car, can park on the outside of the on the no on the highway let's say only in one lane and they have to be parallel to the edge of the carriageway and of course in this case they cannot park on the left side so on the highway outside of the build-up area we can park only on the right of course we have to be parallel with the uh, with the road and of course only one line basically the same rule like in the city the only rule changed now that you cannot park on the left side you will ask maybe you may ask why this rule exists on the highway it's still like very uh, short road here very narrow right so it's not maybe dangerous but just reminding you that on the highway or even if it's not highway but casual a rural road on the outside in the on the outside of the build-up area uh, your speed limit minimum speed limit is 90 by default right so imagine you miss something especially at night for example doesn't matter uh, and you don't see a front car coming Maybe it's uh, your, his, his, his speed is much bigger than yours and you just trying to cross the oncoming traffic and park here and you didn't mention him, for, uh, sorry, you didn't notice him. So it can be very, very bad traffic accident in this case. So that's why we have this rule. So standing and parking a vehicle outside of build, build up area at night time. A vehicle may stand or park outside a build-up area only in the car park or a rest area. So we have to find a special place for parking. In this case, uh, if you are out outside of the, of the uh, build-up area and if you are driving at night, you cannot use uh, shoulders or you cannot use shoulders. You cannot use carriageway, you cannot use um, asphalt, nothing. Yeah, only if it's emergency stopping or something. But for parking, you cannot use it. So we have to find a special place for that. So, hope this one was clear, please. Then, uh, hope you will have some questions. So, definitely uh, leave your comments on this video below, and I will. Um, I will be glad to answer for these questions and um, please subscribe to the channel put like so we will be waiting for that very 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 hopefully and see you soon next time we'll talk about parking more and um, soon we'll finish with this topic again so thank you